Hi, I am Anchor G from the GOAT News Network, GNN. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to explore goat scaping. What is goat scaping? And how does it work? Let's take a look. Goat scaping is land clearing and brush removal by goats. We are especially well suited to jobs that are not easily done by humans, such as poison ivy removal or clearing stone walls or steep dams. A particular forte of ours is invasive plant management. In most situations, against most invasive species we are more effective than chemical controls. Not to mention much more friendly to Mother Earth. Goats can be very effective for both clearing and annual maintenance. Basically we can work like mechanical removal, clearing land, or like chemical maintenance, keeping unwanted vegetation at bay. Depending on what your project needs now, or in the future. We goats love the work we do. Goats are very efficient land clearing creatures, far more effective and efficient than people or chemicals in many situations. We are able to work comfortably on terrains and slopes that are treacherous for our human colleagues, invasive species, such as bittersweet, autumn olive, and Japanese knotweed are among our favorite snacks, we eat it out of existence in any area we find it. Our goat teams are never left alone. We are always accompanied by at least one human herder, this is for safety, for us and neighbors. Just in case we lose our way from the job at hand, for instance if we all fell over the fence, accidentally. Our human can help us get back to where we should be. Each invasive plant and individual situation requires a control plan, this subject is far too extensive for this introduction video and I suggest speaking with a goatscaping company to get an exact plan and estimate. For this video I will stick with the general basics. A crew of 17 to 21 goats can clear 1 8 to a half acre per day. Density is the primary factor here. The denser the brush, the slower the going. I feel it is also worth noting that we goats do very well in dense heavy brush on crazy terrain, but we are pretty slow if you ask us to clear a field, sheep are a bit better suited for that, we are browsers, sheep are grazers. We eat the foliage and new woody growth. We leave the main stems behind. We clear to a height of about 8 feet and pull as many vines from trees as we can. We are not bothered at all by thorny brush, some of our favorite eats include thorns. There are a few things that we cannot eat, for example, any plant in the azalea family will make us very ill and can be fatal. Our herders do their best to make certain we do not accidentally eat it. We travel to work in our bus turned tiny homestead. Each go team has a human. Our human or herder, lives with us, drives our tiny house and makes sure our needs are met while on the go. Our needs include, but are certainly not limited to, a daily servant of grain to balance our diet, fresh water, and some help reaching the foliage above 8 feet. Our herder also provides medical care and grooming. My parting wisdom for you is this, goats are living, sentient beings. We are not machines, or disposable. We can be a very helpful addition to environmental projects, that's for sure. When seeking a goatscaping company please be sure they put the welfare of the goats first, most importantly. We should never be left alone. This protects you as well as us. 
We can do lots of very expensive damage to a neighbor's property if we accidentally fall out of our designated work area. Yes for sure. Goats are known for falling over four foot fences and not realizing that we are then on the wrong side. And we do this in groups. Also, our work can be treacherous and like our human colleagues, we can get injured or fall ill. All bad circumstances are well remedied by a prepared knowledgeable herder. Because of the inherent hazards. Pregnant does, goats under a year old and intact males called bucks should never be on the job site. I hope I have been informative and that you may find goatscaping useful in the future. Thank you. I'm Anchor J and this has been a 320 degrees special report. Thank you.